Hello, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on um, showing some content for mobile um, and hiding it on a desktop. Uh, this is a, a very useful thing. Sometimes you have uh, you want to put a phone number at the top of a page and, and have that on mobile, but not have it on when somebody's looking at a desktop. Or if you have a, a big infographic that looks great on desktop but doesn't look good on mobile, then you can make it so it doesn't show on mobile. So today we're going to be um, going over a plugin that is great for both of those things. Uh, this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress e-marketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence for you in the fast and success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Uh, with that, we'll get started. First thing you're going to do is um, install the plugin. And the plugin is WP Mobile Detect. I also put a, um, a link to download it in the description if you want to do it that way. So I'm just going to go with WP Mobile Detect and do a quick search. And you're just going to do this first one that comes up by Jesse Friedman. Install. I'm also putting the, um, you're going to be using short codes to do this, so I'm going to put the short codes in the video description as well. Okay, activate the plugin. All right, so that's that. And um, this is also very useful if you wanted to show like a slideshow on the home page, but not on mobile. Sometimes slideshows just don't look as good on, on mobile and you want to be, you'd rather show blocks or something. But let's just keep it simple for now. And for what, what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to show a, um, show a phone number on a phone. You know, if you want to set something to show on the phone, but not on the uh, desktop computer. So I'm going to go on the home page and I'm going to first just type text that we want to only show on mobile. So first you're going to put it in your page. This is text only for mobile. Okay. Update. View the page. Alright, so here it is right here. This is the text only for mobile. It could be text, image, video, whatever you want. Now the short code is we want is um, right here. I'm gonna paste it in. Ready? So copy and paste. And I'll zoom in on the short codes right after I paste them. Paste them in. Usually it's just a text view just to just to be sure. So you can see that these are the two short codes. There's uh, the brackets device and then not you know end device. So I'm gonna cut that and then paste it here so that it goes um, it is within the brackets. And if we come back out, you see that the short codes are also on the page. I'll update the page. And now when I go to view the page, that text will be hidden. But if I do, if I had gone to the website from a mobile device, you would be able to see that the text would be there. But as you can see, the text is gone, just like we want on on the um, desktop PC version. So that's how you would do that. Um, you know, one example of a uh, of, uh, situation when I really found this useful was we had a uh, pop-up online quote form so when you click on it, it would be set up so that when you click on a button it would bring up a light box window that had the form and it looked awesome on on the desktop but it just didn't really work well on mobile and the way that we solved that was on mobile only when they would click that button it would bring them to the contact page that had an, had the form actually within the page and that worked fine and if they were on a desktop and they clicked on it you would get that nice light box form so what we did was we had two different buttons and you know if you're on a desktop you would get the light box button if you were on a mobile you would get the button that brings you to the contact page so that's just an example um, if you're watching this video you probably already have an idea in mind for how this plugin can help you and um, we definitely recommend using it especially now that responsive website design has become so important um, a lot of the elements that we've done in the past need to be, uh, you need to be a little bit more, um, a little more careful with what you're doing. But the good thing is you don't have to completely sacrifice how your website's going to look on a desktop version 
if you can just remember to have an alternate version for mobile and these short codes will help you um, accomplish that so again um, thanks for watching today we hope you find this tutorial very helpful for your website and you can find plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials if you do need any help we do provide website design services and we'll be happy to assist